Good morning, Lobos. Today we'll be talking about a returning teacher, cross-country progress, line dancing with the elementary, and a spooky event. I'm Cleo. And I'm Aisley. And you're watching Weekly, Weekly Wolf. Wolf. Today marks the end of the first quarter. Grades are now locked in for the first nine weeks. Next week, Children's All-State Choir auditions will occur. Good luck. Also happening next week is the PSAP. Secondary students will be taking this exam on Wednesday morning. Studying is encouraged, but your score does not and determine your intelligence. So make sure to get a good enough sleep and do not stress. Any juniors taking this exam may qualify for the National Merit Scholarship if they have a high enough score. So good luck, juniors. Next week is the pancake run. We'll run a mile at 7 a.m. and then have a pancake breakfast after. Make sure to be there. Then, on Friday, there will be a cross-country meet in Elgin for our secondary athletes. Volleyball season ended last week after they were unable to attend regionals. We're proud of how far they've come. There is no school on Monday. Enjoy your long weekend. I hope there will be good weather for it. Me too. Let's go see the weather with Gavin. Thanks, guys. This week, it's still going to be pretty hot. Even though fall began last week, the temperature doesn't seem to have caught up for us yet with temperatures still being relatively hot. At the beginning of the week, it's gonna be the mid 80s to the high 80s, and then around the middle of the week, it's gonna change from, the, from that to low 90s to mid 90s. I, for one, am ready for fall, but the earth doesn't seem to have caught up for that just yet. So it's still probably gonna be good shorts and t-shirt weather with very little wind and almost no precipitation at all. Think I'm reporting for Weekly Wolf, Gavin, Back to you guys. Thanks, Gavin. This week, a returning teacher began working at Lawton Academy again. She is now teaching kindergarten after formally teaching the third grade. Her first job at the school was a temporary position as cook. Throughout the growth of our school, she has given us so much support. She even used to be my typing teacher. We are excited to have her back. Emma has more information. We have a returning teacher. Her name is Ms. Calton, and she's working in the kindergarten. Ms. Calton started as our cook in 2003 and moved to teaching shortly after. Her daughter Allison graduated from last after starting in kindergarten and in the school's first class. Ms. Calton had to leave teaching to become a full-time caregiver, but stayed involved within the school through scholastic book orders. She is rejoining the staff in the kindergarten and her first week started on Monday, so be sure to say hi to her if you haven't already. Reporting for Weekly Wolf, I'm Emma. Back to you guys. Thanks, Emma. The cross-country team has been practicing since the beginning of the year and focusing on mastering their mile times. Coached by Mr. Smith, these athletes meet every week to practice. They have been on numerous cross-country meets and competing against other students from different schools. Let's find out more about cross-country and about their upcoming meet with Zoe. The secondary cross-country team has been practicing three times a week since August. Next week, they will be attending the Elgin Cross Country Meet. They have also been practicing for regionals later this month on October 23rd. We interviewed some of our cross country athletes and make sure to wish them good luck. Let's go see that now. How are you feeling about your cross country meet next week? Uh, I feel pretty good about it. I'm feeling pretty confident. I've done okay in the other runs, so I should do better in this one. What have you been doing to prepare for it? I've been running. I've been running in my neighborhood for one, one and a half, two miles every day. That's really cool. Um, what will you be using that preparation to compete in? Uh, I'm going to be trying to like, I'm gonna increase my speed over a good distance. So like I'm going to start out at a set pace and then try to speed up and try and pass people. And what events do you compete in? Uh, just the... the 5K for the 3.1 miles. Is this your first year competing in cross country? It is, yeah. That's good. What do you think of it so far? It's nice. Uh, I've been wanting to stay in shape for a while, so this is a good way to do so. All right. Thank you. Great answers, guys. And good luck on all your future track meets. Thanks, Zoe. Mrs. Greg has recently introduced something new to our elementary students. Really? What is it? Line dancing. She's been teaching them in the morning. Wow, that sounds fun. Let's find out more with Nate. The primary teachers of the pre-K through second grade have been working with the kids on a line dancing performance. This will include four different dances, probably at the end of the year, 
So let's go see with Mrs. Gray. What songs will you be performing? We will be doing the Cupid Shuffle and the Chicken Dance. We will be adding a third one, but we have not decided yet what it will be. How long have you been working on this? We've been doing this for a little over two weeks, and we will continue to do it until the talent show. What dances are you most excited for? Well, I prefer the chicken dance myself. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, everyone loves the chicken dance. Thanks. Yes. Thanks, Nate. So, Halloween's right around the corner, and there's been some weird things happening around here. Let's go check it out. Well, that's all the time we have this week. See you next time on Weekly Wolf. Weekly Wolf.